Welcome back everyone. We hope you've had a really happy new year. We're excited to be back in the Lavelli kitchen and I'm really keen to show you what we're going to make today. I'm going to use the Vibe Blender to do something a little different. We're going to make a classic chocolate mousse. I think this is a really exciting way to use your blender. I'm going to be using three modes today, nut mode, smoothie mode, and the soup mode to bring this all together. We have a few simple and familiar ingredients to use today. We have 500 mils of pure cream, some vanilla extract, some dark chocolate, some ground coffee, an egg, and some coconut sugar. So to get started, we're going to use the nut mode to blend up our coconut sugar into a fine powder and that'll help us to get that really nice smooth mousse texture. Pour one third of a cup of coconut sugar into the blender jug and blend it on nut mode for around 10 seconds or until it forms a fine powder. Once that's done, you can pour the sugar back into a bowl and just set aside. Now we can move on to the next step. We're going to whip 300 mils of pure cream on smoothie mode until we get nice soft peaks. Turn the speed down to its lowest setting and then blend on smoothie mode for 20 to 30 seconds, being careful not to over whip. So after about 25 seconds, I now have a perfect softly whipped cream. Who would have thought that you can whip your cream in the blender jug? It took no time at all. Put the whipped cream into a mixing bowl and then set it aside in the fridge. We're going to fold through our chocolate mix a bit later. Now we're gonna get our chocolate mix going. I have 200 grams of good quality chopped dark chocolate and that can go straight into the blender jug. Then we have one third of a cup of our coconut sugar, one teaspoon of ground coffee, one egg and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Season with a pinch of salt if you like, and then we're gonna heat up the rest of our cream. I'm going to put the remaining 200 mils of cream into a small saucepan and bring it up to a simmer. Once the cream has come to a simmer, take it off the heat. Remove the cap from the lid and set the machine to soup mode. You can now start slowly pouring your cream into the blender jug while the machine is running. Once all the cream is in, continue to blend for around 60 seconds. Then you can scrape down the sides and continue to blend for a further 10 seconds. Once it's nice and smooth, you can take the lid off and set it aside to cool down for around 10 minutes. We're nearly done. All we need to do now is fold our chocolate mix through our whipped cream and then get it into some ramekins or some glasses. It'll then set in the fridge for a couple of hours and then it's ready to be served. After a couple of hours in the fridge, they're perfectly set and they're ready to serve. I'm just gonna finish them off by grating a little bit of dark chocolate over the top. So chocolate mousse made in your Vibe Blender, it can be done and the result is pretty amazing. Serve these up at your next dinner party or just for an easy family dessert, you won't be disappointed. We hope you give this a try for yourself at home and we're really keen to hear what you think of it in the comment section below. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and as always, if you haven't already, hit subscribe to see more of our Lavelli recipes and other ways to use your Lavelli appliances at home. We look forward to seeing you again next time with another recipe. Thank you.